time. But when sports writer Skip Bayless moved from the morning news to the competition, it created quite a controversy among his peers. He doesn't apologize for the change or his big new salary, but being the chip moody of local print has made him the target for some resentment. No different than anyone else. Uh, I feel like I'm the most hated guy in town. Uh, now I can't go back to the morning news for fear of being gunned down by the guards, go back to clean out my desk. I haven't even done that yet. And uh, I feel like I'll walk in the Times Herald and uh, 20 staffers will dive on me and uh, string me up from the, the fixture or something. You know? Despite the hard feelings, Bayless is excited about his new job because he feels the Times Herald will provide him with a better environment to write in. This is a footage of Skip Bayless at the age of 31 after his controversial appointment for the Dallas Times Herald in 1982. So the appointment was controversial because of Skip's previous uh, newspaper where he would slander the Dallas Cowboys head coach Tom Landry as well as the team's general manager. For me, this just shows that Skip Bayless has not changed at all. You know, he's been hated since day one. He's been hated since he entered the scenes of the sports analyst world. But he wasn't bothered then, and he still doesn't care whether he's hated or not. And Skip is probably, or already is, the most polarizing figure in sports today. But, you know, he embraced that villain role since day one, and he's been insistent on everything, no matter how much of a contrarian he is, or seemingly outlandish his takes are. And everything is up to interpretation when it comes to Skip Bayless. You know, I, I respect him for it. I respect him for not changing for anyone. Anyways, guys, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.